Hello guys, I'm Andre here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to do PUBG Mobile gameplay review of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite which comes with a Snapdragon 855 processor. We are not only going to just play the game, I mean obviously we are going to play the game, but we are going to play with claw and gyroscope turned on always. Uh, spoiler alert, once again, gyroscope performance is great, claw had no issues whatsoever, meaning there were no touch issues that we faced with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite. Now let's focus on the performance of the device. You can see FPS on your screen all the time, it will be on middle of the device or you can see that in the screen recording as well. Let's look at the performance now. By the way, currently we are recording the screen at 480p resolution only to make sure that the Snapdragon 855 processor is not overloaded with the game as well as a 1080p screen recording. And this is the most asked question all the times that you are recording screen at full resolution. That's why this device is lagging. But currently we are doing it at 480p and I will also show you graphs in one of those screen recording was turned on and in another one screen recording was turned off. भाई क्या ही लूट में रहा यार आपको लेकिन अभी इस वक्त Enemies ahead Enemies ahead पीछे भागो पीछे से बॉट मार रहा था मेरे को अरे इधर तो ड्रॉप गिरा ड्रॉप किधर है दिख नहीं रहा अभी दिखा बाप रे लैग हुआ अभी बंदे आएंगे गाड़ी आई नाइस थोड़ा पहले आने का ना यार उतर जा भाई नंबर थ्री उतर जा पहले टायर पुना चाहिए था क्या ही मारा है भाई क्या ही मारा है पुश करते कवर बना बना के नाइस वन क्या ही कवर बनाया भाई अरे यार किसी के पास हेल्थ किट है क्या मेरे को आम का शॉट दिया था लेने यार एक कवर फुट गया तो there are almost three people in the front and as you can see the FPS has dropped to about 40 it's always in the range of 40s right now and it's not going above 50 smoke करो आगे push करते हैं direct इनके ऊपर left में भाग गए अरे मैंने एक नॉक किया चिल मारो आराम से आ जाओ एक्सेलेंट वर्क आ जाओ मैं आ गया एक है जिंदा है चल तेरी माँ Even when there are only 7 people alive, the FPS is still around 40 FPS only. An excellent fight between two squads was completely ruined by someone else by just doing a third party. Now this is another match where we are recording the screen at 480p resolution, not 720p or 1080p to make sure that the device can give its best performance. And as you can see, the FPS already once again is in its 40s and not in its 50s. And we are playing the game on smooth and extreme settings. You have all the options available unlocked on this device such as smooth extreme. HDR extreme is also available. As this is a Snapdragon 855 processor, it's quite expected. Excellent work. 
Luckily, the device does not have freezing frames issue or the chipak raha issue which I had mentioned in earlier reviews of some other smartphones. The bad desync, sad life. Now we are in Pochinki and there are uh, almost three to four squads around us and the FPS now is above 50 and that's a good thing in a way. Balkan. Once again, we landed in Pochinki with about 45 to 55 FPS. No constant 60 FPS has been seen on the Galaxy S10 Lite yet. By the way, the screen recording and the sound is from OnePlus 70 and not S10 Lite. Currently, we are testing the S10 Lite without any type of screen recording and let's see what type of performance we get out of the S10 Lite. One player is making sure that the person is getting revived and another on the OnePlus 70, that's me, uh, is making sure that the squad is completely wiped. Now the FPS performance is not bad, it's uh, in higher 40s or early 50s and that's a good thing. But uh, unfortunately we did not win the fight, entire squad was wiped completely. And average FPS with the S10 Lite was at 49 whereas average FPS on the OnePlus 70 was 52. We saw multiple frame drops and average FPS with 480p screen recording turned on was 49. Now talking about the temperatures, S10 Lite was at about 39 or 40 degrees Celsius whereas with 1080p screen recording turned on OnePlus 70 reached 43 degrees Celsius. Now currently we are recording the game in full HD resolution on the Galaxy S10 Lite and the FPS performance is uh, kinda similar. You can see that the FPS performance still varies anywhere from 40 to 50 FPS.
Now this is a screen recording from the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite and uh, there is no FPS, nothing. This is a 1080p screen recording just to show you that the device actually performs good. It's just that when we look at FPS, it feels as if the device is not performing that great. The only good thing about S10 Lite is that it doesn't have freeze frame issues or chipokraha issues as I mentioned earlier. The FPS performance may be below 50 at times but it is constantly above 40. Uh, I mean that's not a great thing for a flagship device such as S10 Lite with a flagship processor which is Snapdragon 855 processor. But let's look at the clutch that I did with only 8 bullets left in the shotgun. And uh, this video will also show you how loot is going to get you killed or how greed is bad in real life. The person was looting and I ended up knocking him out and uh, the squad who tried to kill me got killed. That's why don't loot. First make sure that no everyone is killed. I still remember something like this happening in the ROG Phone 2 PUBG gameplay review and the same thing is happening. Greed is bad. Don't keep looking up. You will get stuck under the drop and you will most probably get killed because once you get knocked out you can't get out of that. And as you saw 1080p skin recording with the S10 Lite was smooth. It probably was at around average FPS of 45, but it was good. It was totally playable. If I did not look at the FPS, I did not face any major issues as the device was not freezing at random frames. And after playing the game for about 2 hours and 2 hours and 30 minutes, the temperature is at about 38 or 39 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature that the S10 Lite reached was 40 degrees Celsius. I would say this is much cooler as compared to OnePlus 7T or 7T Pro. But when it comes to performance or the raw performance, S10 Lite did not perform as good as OnePlus 7T or 7T Pro. This is a good device for casual players who play maybe couple of matches every single day and uh, want to record their screen. But people who are into competitive scene in PUBG Mobile or people who want to reach conqueror level and want to make sure that you get 60 FPS all the time, then S10 Lite may not be the device for you. You saw the performance. If you like it, you can buy it. The direct link to buy the device is present in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time you upload a video like this one. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.